everybody. Welcome back. Right now, we're looking at some illegal things that you do every day. I know y'all are out there breaking the law. Don't lie to me. I'm breaking the law, too. I mean, I jaywalk. Get your head out of the gutter. I lived in New York. I don't got time for traffic lights. Technically, it's illegal to use your phone whilst the engine is turned on. Therefore, that means when you go to pay for your McDonald's at the drive-thru, if you pay by your phone, you legally need to turn off your engine. Uh, I know nobody does that. You can technically be charged for it. Does anyone actually do this? Asking for a friend. Uh, asking because uh, I have definitely been in the car and been an accomplice to this. <laughs> you can get your license taken away like that. I'm just looking out for you. Okay, next it is actually illegal to sing happy birthday in a public place. That means if I step outside my house onto a public street and if I start singing happy birthday, then technically it's illegal. Do you ever wonder why you don't hear the song happy birthday said in, you know, music videos or movies and TV? It's because it's copyrighted and it's extremely expensive to license. That's why you always hear for he's a jolly good fellow. I feel like a lot of artists have tried to like replicate the happy birthday song just to like cash in, you know what I mean? But realistically, are we going to be singing for he's a jolly good fellow? No, I'm going to sing your the happy birthday. Should I do it right now? No, I shouldn't. I literally shouldn't. <laughs> it's not allowed. Oh, it just makes me want to break the law. I feel so sassy. I just want to break some laws today. Under the Siemens and Soldiers Force Character Act 1996, the UK is actually illegal to dress up as a soldier, a sailor, or a policeman, even to a fancy dress party. Even if you look like you're wearing nothing like the uniform that they wear. This is a problem. Especially if uh, you've ever hired an exotic dancer. <laughs> okay, well, I guess y'all aren't going to be hiring any uh, exotic dancer policemen for your hen dues, will you? How disappointing. I love a good man in uniform, I tell you that much. There's nothing funnier than, like, being a cheeky girl around a hot cop, I'll tell you. I love going up to a hot cop and just saying, Arrest me! Please, God, arrest me! At least I used to before I was taken aback. Here's a list of foods that are illegal or banned in other countries, part three. Number one is farm-raised salmon. If you didn't know, in America, farm-raised salmon are often given a chemical called astaxanthin, which gives them that coral color that you look for when you buy salmon. If they weren't given that, farm salmon would typically have like a gray color, which is obviously not pleasing to the eye. And this chemical is banned for consumption in Australia and New Zealand. Dang, dang. I always wondered why salmon was so delightfully pink. Number two is dairy treated with hormones, either RBST or RBGH. These are artificial hormones that stimulate dairy production. Um, the FDA doesn't see any difference between dairy that is produced with hormones or without. But the use of hormones is banned in Canada and the European Union. Then why do I still get massive zits every time I drink milk? Every time. Anything cream, milk, ice cream. I'll wake up the next day with a massive, like literally a third, a third nose? A second nose. <laughs> I don't have a second. I don't have, I don't already have a second nose to my knowledge. But you could split my current nose in half and have enough for two noses. <laughs> Things people do every day that are actually illegal. Number one, it is illegal to use a fake name online. All you catfishers out there, listen up. Using a false name online could potentially lead you to being charged with a federal crime of hacking, which could hold you for up to five years in prison per account. I know there's some of y'all using fake names in my comment section. I didn't know that was illegal. I feel like everyone on the internet does that, don't they? I don't. I don't have the luxury of that. I have to suffer consequences when I do things wrong. Sending and or posting GIFs and memes. Because we all forget about copyright. GIFs and memes use pictures from stock photos that are copyrightable. So if you share GIFs and memes that have copyright photos, you may be liable. That is if the original owner of the photos decide to take action. I have literally broken this law already this morning. Shoot. Arrest me. Arrest me. <laughs> But I would imagine that there's so much of that going on that I highly doubt that anything, it's not worth it. It's really not. Think about the how many billions of shares happen every single day on the internet. Stupid laws that actually are illegal in the UK. Under the Polish potato order of 2004, in the UK it's illegal to possess Polish potatoes. Oh, dang. 
Oh, Polish potato law. The first option was Polish potato salad. Can't make that in the UK. It's illegal to import into England potatoes, which he knows to be or has reasonable cause to suspect to be Polish potatoes. The order was made after outbreaks of ring rot on Polish potato farms. All right, so this is for your safety, friends. No Polish potatoes for you in the UK. How about a Canadian potato, though? It is also, apparently, still a criminal offense in Canada to challenge someone or accept an invitation to a duel. I mean, I feel like this is a bit outdated, no? But you could face up to two years in prison. It is a far worse offense to scare a queen, the queen, keeping that in mind for laws I plan to break. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. It's actually illegal to shake any rug in your house. The only rug you're allowed to shake is your front doormat, and that's to be after eight o'clock in the morning. Are you kidding me right now? So you're telling me that if my UK friends shake their rugs, <laughs> y'all can get put in jail? You dirty, filthy rug shakers. The lot of you dirty, filthy rug shakers. Section 54 of the Metropolitan Police Act pro prohibits carrying a plank on pavement in London. And the last one is, it's actually illegal for women to eat chocolate on public transport. Okay, that's just unfair. Are there exceptions, like when I am on my period? You mean to tell me that if I opened a Kit Kat on your transportation, UK, that I could get arrested? Now, I don't know if any of y'all in Alabama were planning on doing some bear wrestling anytime soon, but if you were, you should probably know that it is illegal to wrestle a bear in Alabama. I don't mean to spoil your fun. We all know how much y'all are having down there. Fun, I mean, especially with y'all's cousins. <laughs> it is a joke. It is a joke. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> where you can't wrestle the bears. <laughs> Here's an interesting one. In California, you are not allowed to wear a mask or another disguise. Did we amend that law in recent years? Otherwise, all y'all during the pandemic, y'all are breaking the law. But I guess it is illegal to wear a mask on Halloween, which means I'm just gonna have to see all your ugly faces. <laughs> Did you know that owning a permanent marker in parts of the US is illegal? Carrying or owning the means to make graffiti can be illegal. In New York, there are laws that forbid taking a broad tipped indelible marker or etching acid into any public building, although it is illegal only if there is intent to vandalize. I know y'all are going into those bathrooms and writing silly notes to each other. I don't know why I've had an accent for pretty much this whole video, but it seems like a lot of these laws are, are based in the US. And naturally, all Americans sound like this to me. Except when you sound like Janice. That's so. Mother calls police after son opens presents early. Excuse me? An American mother had her 12-year-old son arrested for opening his Christmas present early. How early? Are we talking Christmas Eve or what? Brandy Irvin called the police after discovering that the youngster had repeatedly disobeyed her by taking a Nintendo Game Boy from its hiding place at his great-grandmother's house and played it. Officers in Columbia, South Carolina handcuffed the boy and took him into the police station on petty larceny charges. Okay, this is a lot. You're doing a lot here. You don't think a simple slap on the wrist, maybe we could ground him or find a better hiding spot. Did we really need to like arrest him? This is a lot. This is a lot of process. You can go to jail for swearing in public in many places around the world, including Dubai. Well, <laughs> subscribe.